All right, a little bit of an update. I got this long drill bit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through this block of wood all the way through. All right, I got some carriage bolts and I'm gonna have it coming up and then the bolt will go through. And then I got these pieces of scrap wood I found. They look like they're like two by twos. And I'm going to bolt this through here. And let's see. I got a line here. And I'm going to use this uh, tie to, to uh, hold the iPhone up. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Put the iPhone down here for a minute, see if I can film myself doing this. Uh, I'm making two little loops in. See that? One loop here, another one here. And these two will hold the iPhone. Hopefully. Let's see. Of course not. This is not long enough. This bracket's not long enough to hold it up. Doesn't really matter though. I'm gonna just drill holes through the wood now. Let's see. Approximately where? Blob of spit. Drill the hole through the wood. Now I'll drill the hole through the uh, pallet. Use the hole as a guide. Why it's not going all the way through? Maybe I'm hitting a nail. There we go. All right. Let's see if the carriage bolt can fit through. From the bottom. The top of this first to clear out the hole. The wood. That was going to happen. Got a lot. 
washer here. I just dropped. I got a nut. Oh, I forgot to get my socket wrench. So this is just a part of this step because I'm going to continue doing this and I have screws that are going to go through this as well. Let's see how this looks. But right now, did a pretty good job. Doesn't really matter if it's that flush, but it's pretty damn flush. So I'm going to have one bolt going all the way through this. And when I tighten it up, it's going to pull this, the end of the bolt in into this wood, particle wood. And then I'm going to get another piece of wood here. And then I just got to find a piece of wood that'll span this right up there. So let me get my socket wrench. I'll be right back. It's March 12th. And flowers are blooming. And I'm wearing shorts. March 12th in New York. Charlie's overheating. We've been playing for a while, but it's a little overheating because we've been playing for a while and it's warm. Drink up. I got the, the wagon basically done except for the cross beam on the handle. And at some point, I'll have to try to find something that can handle <laughs> that can handle it. <laughs> oh, he's drinking it all. He must be really thirsty. I'll give you some more in a minute, Charlie. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So there's the wagon, cart, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. So I decided to take Charlie out for a little bit of a walk after putting that thing together a little bit, and uh, it's a nice day. Like I mentioned, I'm you know it's I'm wearing shorts. It's the first week in March, so it's quite warm. You know, it's beautiful out. And, um, oh, let's see. Give me Charlie. Um, I don't know if this is the safest place to stop for a second, but let's just see if I can show you. Um, a lot of times when I'm walking and I'm wearing lightweight clothing, and let's say I don't want to carry a heavy knife with me or something, what I'll do is um, I'll carry this. This is uh, a tough toad. This is made by uh, Jeff uh, at the YouTube channel, uh, uh, Nib uh, what's his name? Tough Thumbs, that's his name, Tough Thumbs, sorry about that. And this is a friction folder, and it's made of AEBL. It's not that bad. Um, let me see if I can get the focus on it. It's, uh, it's, it's a lightweight knife, and it seems like it's like a, a bit of a convex edge on it. And the grind's a little uneven, but not that bad. And I don't know who used it for the heat treat, but it seems like it holds a nice edge on it. Let's see if I can show it. Um, yeah, it's decently sharp. Somewhat cut something with it. But. You know, and, and basically the reason why I, I carry a knife with me when I'm walking is uh, in the event, you know, usually I carry a bottle of water, especially when it gets it's getting really warm. And um, if I needed to cut the bottle in half to make a little makeshift water bowl for Charlie, it would be good to have something like this. A little knife on me. Or, uh, you know, you never know, last ditch... Uh, defense against who knows what kind of a wild animal could be out here. You never know in all actuality. And, you know, that's just really what I wanted to say. So, it's been uh, really nice and enjoyable. Putting that thing together, actually, has been pretty nice. Just, uh, I'm using skills I haven't used in a long time, putting stuff together. And, um, 
I know I didn't necessarily do it right, but I didn't do it wrong either. You know, I kind of overbuilt it, and it'll it'll work. It'll serve well, and it'll do what's what I'm designing it for. And that's really all that matters. You know, I know I've, I could have used a, a level to make sure the uprights on it are perfectly straight and stuff, but I believe it's straight enough for what I'm going to need it for. And as long as it doesn't fall apart under the first load of weight on it, it should be fine. All right? So that's that. Let's house that down there. All right. Got to get going. Have a good day, and thanks for watching. Charlie? Charlie? Say goodbye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, so today I got this. It's like the leg of like a metal table, like a rubber cap on it. I have these clamps holding it on. I'm gonna drill a hole. It's like square st steel stock, I think. Let's see. I think it's steel. So I'm gonna drill through the metal and the wood. I got some. More carriage bolts here. So I'll go through that. It'll stick out. Uh, probably better if go this way, I think. And then I'll just, uh, I got some washers, lock washers, nuts, and I'll see how this thing goes. And then I'll have to use a hacksaw to cut that end off. Let's see about getting maybe another one of these. Oh, this is actually looks like it's welded on. It's not a rubber cap, it's metal then. And that side will be open. But this should be quite strong. I'll put this back on when I'm done.